Heidauer, Vice President of the Oceanside Cultural Arts Foundation and co-chair of Ride On Oceanside, is here with local author Michelle Holstein. <laughs> Welcome. Thank you. It's good to be back. I'm so happy to have OCAF here and a local author. Wonderful. You. Um, you have lots of updates. Yes. Uh, start with telling the folks at home what is OCAF. Okay. Oceanside Cultural Arts Foundation was established as a nonprofit organization in 1989, and our mission is to broaden the cultural, artistic, and performing arts in Oceanside and the surrounding communities. And all the proceeds we get go then to uh, fund scholarships yeah. for graduating seniors. And this year we're hoping to add a literary scholarship in the mix, hope, hope, hope. Um, our goal is to be inclusive and diversified and to include all aspects of the Oceanside and surrounding communities um, mm -hmm. in our endeavors and in our audiences. Wonderful. And you have a really big event coming up. Yes. You have a couple of big events. But why don't we start with the prequel okay. to Write on Oceanside. <laughs> Tell us about that. Put my cards in a different order. Okay. <laughs> Okay, on September the 28th, which is a Saturday at 2 a.m., 2 p.m., in the community rooms, we will be offering an original one-woman show. It's called Genesis 2.0, mm. and it's written by an Oceanside author and playwright, Kyle Rossler. Mm. Uh, he describes it, Genesis 2.0, Eat, Sleep, and Know, a funny one-woman show satire describing what the Garden of Eden would have been like if Adam and Eve had followed the rules. Oh. And it's not the paradise you might think. <laughs> okay. So um, it's uh, funny, I do know that. Yeah. And uh, the, the young lady who, who performs is uh, very talented, and I know everyone thoroughly enjoy it. And like we said, it's a donations only, okay. and we're hoping to start the literary scholarship from this event. Wonderful. And then following that, you have Right on Oceanside. Yes. We began in 2010. Okay. And its mission is to support and encourage and celebrate Yay. our published Oceanside authors. And in the beginning, it was only Oceanside authors, but we become more generous. <laughs> we are <laughs> including, we are including um, all authors or any authors published in North County. Great. Um, we have a really diverse range. Um, we have veterans that really share some very poignant stories. And we have mystery writers. We have children's <laughs> writers, history, self-help. And all of these books come from people right here in our community. So we want to share their work and these authors with the community. Yeah, and speaking of local authors, Michelle, tell us about um, your writing. You've written 50 books. Oh goodness, I don't even know where to begin. <laughs> <laughs> yes, you can see I love to write. Yes. <laughs> and yes, I've written 50 novels, short stories, novellas, um, anywhere from cozy mysteries to sci-fi horror. And <laughs> so a wide range of genres. <laughs> yeah. And I love going to Oceanside, or to write on Oceanside and bringing all my books with me and meeting all the great people there that love to read and write and the other authors. It's yeah. just so much fun. And, and, and what, what does it mean as an author to have that venue to be able to share um, what you do? Well, to me, it's writing is an escape from reality. It's just a yeah. fun escape. And you know, you're done working, you're tired. A lot of people like to watch TV, they read, they do different things. So I like to give that entertainment back to yeah. other people. I, it just makes me so happy to know that someone's enjoyed something that I've written, you know, and I love sharing it. Mm -hmm. so, yeah. <laughs> yeah. And, and so tell us, when, when is Right on Oceanside? What can people expect at that event? Okay. This year it will be Saturday, October 5th okay. from 10 to 3 p.m. Okay. And um, we will have authors indoors. They're, they will be set up with their little table or booth, and they'll have their books, and they're available for sale. We'll autograph them, yes, talk yes. to you about uh, how what the creative process is and, and that sort of thing, answer your questions. We're scheduling two writer's workshops, 
workshops for writers, either published or just trying it out for the first time. Uh, the one that I'm positive on is uh, how to develop an engaging and sustainable character and Matt Coyle, who is the author of the Rich Rick Cahill PI crime series, will be will be hosting that one. Great. And then I'm we're not locked in on the on the second one yet. We want Woo to be a family event, definitely. So we have activities for all ages, and we're adding a spoken word component outside in the new patio with the new stage. <laughs> so we're excited about that. We're expecting poets from Glassless Mind to join us, oh, and God. part of the library learners, adult learners who are part of Reed's Learning Center program, and they will read short stories that they've written. Wonderful. Um, we also have a Reader's Theater performance uh, by, uh, by Mel Vernon, who wrote The Boy with the Blue Arrow. So that's a family, definitely a family event. Okay. And then we will have some special activities for the kiddos inside in the children's section wow. of the library. So Wonderful. Lots happening <laughs> Lots at happening. right on Oceanside yes. or Woo. People can go to the OCAF website yes. or the library website yes. to learn more. Yes. And Michelle, how yes. can people find your books? Well, all of my books are available on Amazon okay. and also Audible under Michelle Ann Holstein or M.A. Holstein. Wonderful. Looking okay. forward to reading them. Thank you. All right. Thank you for being here. Yeah, thank, thank you so much. <laughs>